All right, Batavia artists, this is Mrs. Bach here, and I'm going to show you how we are going to use a line to create an optical illusion. And our theme is going to be using our hands. So here's just a couple examples. I'm going to move this one out of the way and show you how we're going to do this together. So just using right now today a white piece of paper, a pencil, and then one colored marker. I preferably like the black marker, but you can do this in color as well. I'm going to do mine in Sharpie just so you can see it. So you're going to take your hand and you're going to put it in whatever kind of direction you want. Um, I'm going to put it this way. And then with your opposite hand, you're going to trace it. So I have my Sharpie here just so you can see. And I'm going to trace outline the shape of my hand. Then at the bottom of it, you're going to make a curve line to start you off. From here, you're going to about a finger space away make another curve and you're going to keep doing this rotation line just to make it look like it is rounded like a real hand so you're going to keep going trying your best to keep them consistently spaced so you don't really want some that are too skinny though it does work or far apart so i'm just trying to keep my curve throughout the whole part of the hand. When we get to the fingers, we'll have to do each finger individually. So I'm keep curving, probably can do a couple more, maybe one more, and then stop. Then I'm gonna go to each individual hand, or I'm sorry, finger, and I'm gonna curve those. And then this one. And then these. So these I can actually probably do together first. And then I'll separate them. Because my fingers weren't attached. So kind of like frowns or bumps, keeping consistent with your spacing and how arched you are. And done. Now that that's finished, you're going to then extend the lines from your side of your hand all the way over. So again, I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm just going to draw a line from here. Start to the next one. Draw a line going across and across. And the part with the hands a little bit easier. And then you get to the fingers. And if you run out of room, you run out of room and stop. Then I'm going to go to this side. Across, across. I'm going to turn it this way so you can see a little bit better. You could use a ruler, but it's not necessary. In fact, I kind of like it a little bit wobbly. It adds to the optical illusion, in my opinion. Okay, now we have to go in between the fingers, which is a little bit harder. So you kind of have to connect the fingers with a line like that until you run out of lines in between them.
Now, from this point on, you need to just continue on with the lines all the way to the edge and all the way to the top. So the entire picture has your lines. And last one, just like that. So that has a little bit more of a wider look to it because it's not as spread out. And then what you can do is you can then color it in or make them thicker, your lines. So even just by making them a little thicker, actually looks like it's colored in. So it's kind of a trick. If your eyes get a little jumpy from all of the contrast, because your eyes do um, get affected by optical illusions, it is okay to take a break. I often have to take a break when I am doing optical illusions because your brain is fighting so hard to make sense of it that it's straining your eyes a little bit. So just keep that in mind. Some optical illusions are hard to look at. Some kids really like them. And honestly, some kids really get a little hard to watch them. So the black and white has the strongest contrast. You can even just keep it in a pencil. That works too. Like that. And you've created your optical illusion. Thanks.